Everybody. Welcome to Review Time with Isip. I am Isip, and today we are going to take a look at the power of the primes. Deluxe class swoop. And uh, there he is. And, and you'll notice I have two of them. I actually ended up buying the whole box of the set. So I got two of everybody. And... Uh, I was going to end up having to get two swoops anyway because for me swoop should be should let me let me show you so I'll show you why in a, in a second see this this is the package it came with what's the difference between that and that see swoop here is he is uh black and red here he's blue and black uh, you can see also the dino head is it's uh, just a regular clear plastic there isn't any gold in the middle and this one is not although I, I'll be honest I actually like that better I probably could pop out the if I really want to clear this up I could probably pop out that um, whatever that is in there the filling I don't see why I couldn't do that I mean unfortunately I'd have to yeah I could pop out that gold fill I mean I couldn't for this unless hold on a second wait can I oh no I can't because they went and it's actually paint it's molded paint oh, that sucks oh well anyway like I was saying here we have our swoop in there I guess Pteranodon is, is an actual, is more accurate. It used to be, we used to call him Pterodactyl, but Pterodactyl actually looks a lot different. Uh, so here he's in his Pteranodon mode. And you can see this one here has all the smoke. So there is weapon storage for his one weapon. And his, his fist slash prime armor thing. Um... Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the best, but at least see this kind of makes sense. He's flying, and he can just like stab things while he's flying. So it does weigh the head down a little bit. But if you open the mouth just a crack, it streamlines it. And then this, you can actually pull this out. And if you want to, you can you can power him up, so to speak, with a Prime Master by doing that. You can, if you want to, just sit it up and turn him into basically a Dino Rider. If that's what you'd like to do instead, he says, and he is wrong. It won't let him. Well, you, it, it'll sit there, so it kind of looks like a Dino Rider. So, there's that. I wonder if I put it the other way. Let me see if I bend his... Uh, legs the other way in a kneeling position would that just look a little bit better yeah because then it looks like he's um, he's manipulating he's controlling him with these little spikes so yeah except he's just gonna fall out but there's that where did I put the clear cover and if you have like the Autobot matrix of leadership for either version of of the you know if you got hot rod or optimus you can stick that in there if you want to as well so here he is without so this way we're just going to go through the articulation the head is on this really tight sort of like swivel it can do that you can rotate it down if you want to break sculpt, you can do this to get more of an angle, but that looks bad. So he does look like down here, and then for transformation, <laughs> you can break his face. 
Uh, his wings have an, a, a decent amount of posability. You can tuck them in like so, put them out like so, anywhere in between. They bend here, so you can get like a like a like a diving pose. You can tuck him in like so, so you know he's just looks like he's getting ready to swim. Or um, let's see if I can do this. If you do this, that's actually kind of how they they have been depicted as walking around uh, walking around like on well actually on their knuckles here but you know you could make them quadrupedal or something his feet his tyranno feet can bend down here bend up this way um, you can do this if you want if you want to have him have long lanky uh, legs like like the animated swoop did you can do that if you want to that's totally up to you if you want to you can just do this and have it more streamlined that is again completely up to you what you want to do with this figure if you buy it um, yeah so let me zoom on out I am zoomed out okay let's go ahead and transform him so first thing you want to do is just get the wings out of the way so to speak uh, pull these out they just tab in right there with this tab here pull them out pull out the hands rotate the arm pull out said hands again and rotate the arm you want to come back here pull this off this is pretty much classic swoop transformation do that. Um, one thing, his feet do not become his shins here. That would have been a nice throwback, but hey. Flipped the feet forward like so. And you are almost done. Let's pull the camera back a little bit. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this piece down like so. Bring that down, and there you have swoop transformed now in the um the back of the box it has his wings out like this which you most definitely let's raise up the camera a little bit so we can get a better angle you most definitely can do that that is sort of the way that his his wings are on um i think animated had the wings like that and fans projects uh version of swoop has the wings out like this i personally don't care for it i usually just tuck the arms the arms tuck the wings all the way in like so and there you have a more G1 ish looking swoop transformation um, you can if you want to let's move these down uh, they, they're on they're on it feels like a ratchet it's not a ratchet but it does feel like it ratchets so you can bring them down, but then if you bring them down, it, it, it really doesn't look that good. It looks better slightly up because then you can, like I said, you can tuck the wings back and have a more G1-y looking swoop. And he's a pretty good looking figure. He is a pretty good looking figure, and I keep turning the camera the wrong way. His head is pretty much perfect. He looks great. I wish, again, that this would have been red instead of blue. But, you know, I've got paints. I can do it myself, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Articulation is as follow. His head rotates. It's... I mean, it's... I don't know if it's... It's not... I don't know if it's on a ball. It is on a ball. But it doesn't have very much wiggly waggly room. For some reason, um, if we move that out the way, you get you could get 360 if he didn't have wings, but uh, his wings get in the way. But you get full range of motion, it's on a ball, uh, mushroom peg for the joint here. He has what looks like it should ratchet an arm, 
that bends at the elbow it kind of clicks in there with a soft click he doesn't have wrist rotation but you can break his wrist if you want to uh, he does have waist but the dino head is going to kind of get in the way it does just move though but you do have swivel here um, legs go all the way forward uh, they go almost all the way out they bend at the knee they go all the way back there is some clearance issues it feels like but they do go all the way back um, I did say they bend at the knee they have an upper thigh and his feet due to transformation do it just in that direction and uh, yeah that's it so let's go ahead and oh uh, before we do that let's do a size comparison so here he is with the power of I mean the Transformers uh, what do you call it? Titans Returns Hot Rod and Hot Rod is actually taller which I do not agree with uh, let's see here he is with Slash and she is so teeny weeny here he is with Metal Hawk, and you can. He has five millimeter ports in his hands and on his side here, so you can take this and he can use it. But again, they are heavy ish, so you do have to bend the legs. Uh, let's see, you're supposed to be able to get the prime armor on him somehow uh should be on the front oh yeah 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 okay i remember now it actually clips on using these inside pegs to the side of the swoop head so you just push it on like that and there you have prime armor so or you know baby carrier if you will you can take this out and Put a Titan Master or Prime Master in if you want to. So you can do that if that is what you like. I don't. I really don't. You can also plug it into his, his wrist here. And have that going on. If you want to and let's not forget he came with a sword where did his sword go his sword is actually right here this is his, his armor so he does have his sword he's the only one that comes with the sword don't worry shapeways has got gotcha. you um who else has got gotcha? you i believe perfect effects set has swords and guns for everybody or at least swords so yeah so there we go. We're going to move him off to the side. We're going to bring out the other suit that's already transformed. And we're going to just go into his limb mode. So we're going to transform this guy into... Uh, well, well, we'll figure that out. I think we're going to go with the arm. You just pull this out. You're going to unplug this. Rotate. Sorry. Rotate his hands. I'm off to the side, so I, I can't really see what I'm doing. Rotate. His arms like this so you've got this little peg uh, it goes into his his waist or his side do that again could you imagine if we had to do this we had to transform imagine stabbing yourself in the side with some metal object uh, take this and bring this down like so we're gonna leave it like that actually actually we're not we're going to leave this like this for now. Uh, I got to do a little research, but we're going to go ahead and and uh, peg these in. And this is this is one part I don't like about this plastic. This plastic sucks. These pegs do not want to stay where they're supposed to be pegged. You peg them in, you can already see they're unpegging themselves. Uh, when you have them in R mode and you, you move, see? That didn't hardly take nothing. 
So you're not going to get very much play out of this guy in his limb modes. You're going to have to, let's see. Yeah, see? You're going to have to be very gentle. So we'll make him an arm. We'll turn this this way. Or, well, if you do it this way, you can get bent this way. If you decide to do it the other way, you can do so. And you'll get less bend, but it will move up and down. Um, and then you bring these down and these do tab into the shoulders so it looks kind of like that and grab one of these things pull the fingers out and he has two thumbs there's nothing you can do about it you can if you want tuck one in here while you're using the other as a thumb but it still looks like he has two thumbs it is what it is and then just plug that in like you do with the other things and it's 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 okay I wish the legs would just stay closed but they do not want to stay closed they suck but there you have your arm actually according to the instructions it's supposed to be this way with the open bit which doesn't make any damn sense it looks horrible but whatever either way this is how it's supposed to transform uh, oh and uh, of course you pull this peg out so that's the arm mode now uh, actually when I do the arm mode I just leave these up like this and then bring these all the way up and tuck these behind like so and and pretty much and then I always have this the other way around come on and there you have There you have my arm mode, and it it, it it works perfectly fine. It slots in where it needs to. Sheesh. And this is why I don't like the plastic that Hasbro uses nowadays. It it is it's too soft. It is too soft. Things don't want to stay the way they're supposed to. Uh, I didn't look. That I don't even hardly pull it. Nothing pegs in securely. But anyway, that aside, there you have the arm, and I think it looks better this way than with everything going this way. I it's just that's just me. Again, you're buying this toy for yourself. You can do however you want to do. But I think this arm looks better that way. We're gonna move him off to the side. We'll take the other guy. We'll make him a foot. There we go. There's the clear bit. All right. So we'll make him a foot. So I'll take that off. And uh, we'll leave this for now. Uh, take here this. Wiggle it a little bit until you can get it out. This is going to swing. Uh, Swing up and around. You're going to do the same thing over here. Swing it up and around. And like it is tight, but it's tight in the wrong place. And you're going to put that together. Oh, before you do that, my mistake. Before you do that, what you really want to do is go ahead and bring his legs back out. What you really wanted to do, and this is my fault, I apologize. Fold the hands in. Fold the hands in. And basically you're turning him the upper half into the pterodactyl or pteranodon. Go ahead and plug these into the side. Okay, and now you're going to bring these around and over. I said around and over the sides like so. These you're going to bring 
down and then again pegs in at the side and oh yeah don't forget to pull the peg up Ugh. and then you would take a foot once you had a foot and you would plug it in the bottom and the feet come with Grimlock so you can't and these these things don't do the hand foot thing do they have now nah, they don't do the hand foot thing so you can't really use them as a these things um, but they they have their uses which I'll show off when we get to the combined mode but there's that what I like to do is I like to because there is storage under, underneath here there's this little peg you can just stick it on the stop the pteranodon head and just push it down and I like that it fills it up a little bit and uh, yeah it gets the gets the sword out of the way you can't see what I'm doing because I don't have the camera right but as you can see and there's the foot mode minus the actual foot so we've got the limb modes and we'll go ahead and take his sword we'll do the same thing just because I like to I don't I like to have weapon starch so I don't mind it being on his arm it's fine you're not gonna complain are you you can use it you can also put it in the in the hand here and make it look like he's holding uh, a dagger I guess that would be a little dagger because it's really short uh, I don't know what it's gonna do against the other bots but hey you can do that you can also again take take the prime master weapon modes and plug them in and uh, that works pretty well if the freaking legs would stay freaking closed like there's really nothing I can do about that nothing nothing because these pegs like I guess I could I could put some some shellac or something maybe but I mean look if you even look I don't know if you can see this but there are stress marks already where this is supposed to go in like this plastic just sucks when it comes to having to peg things into it ah, we'll just take that off uh, in any case let's go ahead and Leave his legs up like that. That's, that's another look for Swoop if you'd like. We'll go ahead and... That's actually a pretty a pretty decent one. I like that. Get his wrists out. I actually like that even more than, than the G1 way, because... I mean, it, it does hamper the posability of the arms a little bit. You still get the forward. You know, the back, it doesn't work very well. But I think that actually looks pretty decent. And we've got... Uh, in any case, there you go with the power of the prime suit. Oh, almost forgot to show off. He comes with cards. Um, it seems like you get, like in the case with almost every every bot, you get two different cards. So this one is Dinobot swoop with whatever that prime mask is supposed to be, and then this one with that one. So we got Megatronus swoop and Amalgamus swoop. So if you want to read the card. There you go. Want to read the card? There you go. That said, I'm Islip. I actually love this figure. I just don't. The, the only real thing I don't love, aside from the fact that he is not the right color, the color in the box is red. Why the freaking hell did they give us this? I don't know. But that aside, uh, the the gray silver plastic they used, it's pretty good. Uh, the sculpting is good. The size is too small. The plastic that they use, especially where uh, things peg in, it's horrendous. It is horrendous. It sucks. It's too soft. Soft is the word I want to use. 
or the pegs aren't long enough. Either which way, it doesn't do its job. It really does not. But otherwise, it's it's a good figure. It's a good figure. Good Dinobots size is wrong. It would have been better. Honestly, I think if they would have just left the, com the combined mode gimmick off and just had everybody be a Voyager size or leader size, I think those would have just worked out so much better. But um, that said, though, I, I still I still like these figures. I still really do. Um, I, again, will state this with the exception of maybe Slash. None of these Prime Masters, the exception of, uh, except, exception of Slash and the Little Pretenders, none of these are must-haves. None of these. This line is... Disappointing. Like all the other lines uh, we had, I felt like I had to have them. These are like, well, I mean, I'm going to get them, but I don't need them. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. That said, I'm Islip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I got these from Walmart. You can probably find them at Target and Toys R Us now. Uh, you can definitely get them online with Big Bad Toy Store and Toys R Us dot com, and uh, probably TF Source and other outlets like that. I'm Ice Thanks for watching. Ciao.